For my nursing theorist, I chose Jean Watson, and to sum up her theory, basically she believed that regenerating life's energy is through nursing care. Jean Watson was born in Williston, West Virginia, a small town in the Appalachian Mountains in 1940. She graduated from the Lewis Gale School of Nursing in 1961, and she continued her nursing studies at the University of Colorado at Boulder. She earned her nursing bachelor's degree in 1966, as well as her master's degree in psychiatric and mental health nursing. She earned her PhD in educational psychology and counseling in 1973. Some accomplishments she has is she served as Dean of Nursing at the University Health Science Center and was the president of the National League for Nursing. She's currently a fellow member of the American Academy of Nursing and she published the Philosophy and Science of Caring revised edition in 2008. Most of her work is inspired by Nightingale, Henderson, Lianger, and Pupulo. She currently holds an established chair at the University of Colorado, and in 2008, she created the Watson Caring Science Institute to help spread her nursing theory and ideas. Watson holds six honorary degrees, Two of which include an international honorary doctorate from the University of Montreal in Quebec, Canada, which she got in 2003, and an honorary doctor of sciences in nursing from the University of Victoria in British Columbia, Canada, which she received in 2010. Her theory framework. In Watson's philosophy on science of caring addresses how nursing express care to their patients. Caring is central to nursing practice. It promotes health better than a simple medical cure. She believes that a hostile approach to health care is central to the practice of caring and nursing. Watson proposed what are known as caritas processes that correspond with each carative factors. The caritas processes have a spiritual dimension and use a more fluid language than the original carative factors. According to Watson, Caring, which is manifested in nursing, has existed in every society. However, a caring attitude is not transmitted from generation to generation. Instead, it's transmitted by the culture of nursing profession as a unique way of coping with its environment. According to her theory, caring can be demonstrated and practiced by nurses. Caring for patients promotes growth. A caring environment accepts a person as he or she is and looks to what he and she may become. Caring consists of the character factors, forming human elistic, altruistic value systems, instilling faith and hope, cultivating a sensitivity to self and others, developing a helping trust relationship, promoting an expression of feelings, using problem solving for decision making, promoting teaching learning, promoting a supportive environment, assisting with gratification of human needs, and allowing for existential phenomenological forces. Within assisting with the gratification of human needs, Watson orders the needs. Lower order biophysical needs, including food and fluid, elimination, ventilation, lower order psychophysical needs, including activity and activity and sexuality, higher order psychosocial needs, including achievements, affiliation, intrapersonal and interpersonal needs, and self-actualization. Over here, you can see that patient and family are in the middle, and around it, you can see practice of loving, kindness, conciliation of faith and hope, sensitivity to self and others, help tr helping trust relationship, expression of negative and positive feelings, creating problem solving, teaching learning, soul care for the self, assisting with basic needs, and creating a healthy env healing environment. The mission statement for her organization is to provide high-quality, customer-oriented, and financially strong healthcare services that meet the needs of those we serve. Um, nurse Ian Meta Paradigm. And as you can see, here is some other diagrams that went over what we talked about. Um, over here, you can see that patient and nurse is a unity. Um, and around it, you can see that faith, love, sensitivity, healing, teaching, learning, spirituality, emotions, and creativity, creativity are needs that patients need and what nurses need to make sure are big 
being given. Over here, basically the same thing, patient and family-centered care, revolve on care to factors, caring occasions, and transpersonal caring relationships. Four major concepts in Watson's theories are human beings, health, environment, slash society, and nursing. Over here, you can see, like I said before, patient and family are in the middle with mind, body, and spirit around, which are ma the main focuses when it comes to nursing in Watson's theory. Um, coordinate care, foster parent and team relationships, involve community resources, incorporate in evidence-based practice, promoting professional excellence, utilize the nursing process, and communicate the plan of care are all part of the major concepts when it comes to taking care of a patient. Um, another chart we see, nursing actions include caring and curing. Um, the person is the recept the person of care. Um, environment is the internal and external factors. And health is a high level of social, physical, and mental functioning. The human being is defined as a valued person in and of him or herself to be cared for, respected, nurtured, understood, and assisted. In general, a philo philosophical view of a person as a fully functional, integrated self. He, human, is viewed as greater than and different from the sum of his or her parts. So, in summary, the human is more than just the physical parts that you see. The human is also their mind, what makes them who they are, and their spirituality. Health is um, includes a high level of overall physical, mental, and social function, a general additive maintenance level of daily function, and the absence of illness or the process of efforts that will lead to an absence of illness. So basically, we all view health to be. Environment is the provision of a supportive, protective, and or coercive mental, physical, social, cultural, and spiritual environment. Watson divides into interdependent, eternal, and external variables. Manipulated by the nurse in order to provide support and protection for the patient's mental and physical health. So the environment is internal, external, social, cultural, and spiritual in Watson's theory. The nurse must provide comfort, privacy, and safety as part of the curative factors. Nursing is viewed as a human science and an art. Nursing is a human-to-human -human connection in which both persons are influenced through a, the relationship and being together in the moment. So in Watson's theory, nursing is more than just healing the patient or caring for the patient. It is a deep connection that we make with our patients when caring for them and something that is important when caring for them. The nursing process. Um, Watson's nursing process parallels the scientific research process. The first step is assessment. This involves observation, identification, and review of the problem in the formulation of a hypothesis. Next, the nurse creates a care plan to determine how variables will be examined, as well as what data should be collected and how. Step three is intervention. This is the implementation of the developed plan and includes collection of data. Finally, the nurse conducts an evaluation. This is examination of the data and results of the intervention and the interpretation of the results. This may lead to an additional hypothesis. So this case study was found online. Um, Rico is a 39-year-old truck driver who is admitted to the hospital following an accident which caused the front of his truck to catch fire. He suffered from burns as well and was rushed to the ER diagnosed with deep split thickness and full thickness burns of the anterior chest, arms, and hands. His vital signs are as followed. Temperature is 96.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Pulse rate is 140 per minute. Blood pressure is 98 over 60. A rapid infusion of lactated ringers was started, and he was also receiving 40% humidified oxygen via face masks. Lung sounds indicated inspiratory and expiratory wheezing, and a persistent cough reveals sooty sputnum production. A Foley catheter is inserted and initially drains a moderate amount of dark concentrated urine. He is, also, he is alert and oriented, but complains of super, severe pain. The 
associated with the burn injuries. The assessment. In Watson's nursing process contains the same step as the scientific, the scientific research process. The plan would to solve the problem. Both provide a framework for decision-making. The phase is an opportunity to, to form a humanistic altruistic system of values to install faith slash hope and develop a trusting human caring relationship. Watson's theory of caring assists that a holistic approach is performed. Assessment may include the social history of the patient. It allows the interviewer to understand a more complete approach to the patient's care, the environment in which the patient lives, his habits within the environment. It helps provide a more complete and potentially more successful plan of care. It involves observation, identification, and review of the problem. Um, and it also uses applicable knowledge in the literature. Diagnosis. Watson's theory when it comes to diagnosis is the formulation of a hypothesis. Formulation of a nurse and diagnose such as an effective airway clearance, fluid volume deficient, active volume loss, risk of infection, inadequate primary defense, pain and tissue injury. Gene Watson indicates that needs are interrelated. The science of care suggests that nurse rec the nurse recognizes and assists with each other of the interrelated needs. This is in order to reach the highest ordered need of self-actualization. In Watson's theory states that planning includes conceptual approach and a design for problem solving. It determines what data would be collected and how to collect it on whom. Implementation. In Watson's theory, when it comes to implementation, it includes provision for a supportive, protected, and cooperative environment. This includes mental, physical, social, social, and spiritual environment, promoting an interpersonal teaching and learning, and assistance with gratification of human needs. And evaluation. According to Watson's theory, evaluation includes an analysis of the data, examination of the efforts of interventions based on the data, and includes the interpretation of the results, the degree to which positive outcome has occurred, and rather the results can be generalized. Watson believed that harmony of the body, mind, and spirit of the caregiver and the patient is one of the greatest outcome of cure. Evidence-based practice article. So the article that I found basically went over how nursing students at the Methodist College prepares for nursing in the, for the outside world. They use Watson's theory in most of their practice. Students practice their skills on mannequins, named the Watson family, solely based on the fact that they're practicing on her theory. Students practice interacting with mannequins as if they were caring for real people. And students learn how to comfort their patients by holding their hands or making sure they are covered up. While this may seem like a basic understanding of nursing, um, and why this may also seem not as important to patients, it creates a healing environment which is crucial part of Watson's theory. As we know, she did mention that a healing environment and caring could be more helpful and beneficial than medical care. And these are the resources that I got my information from.